Yeah, Doug, state officials gave an update today on how the rollout is going. Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans is live for us in Albuquerque. And Brandon, what did we learn today that we didn't already know? Well, Shelly, we now know how many people have gotten the vaccine so far, as well as how many have registered to get it online. Also, who's getting it next and why? We've had more than 170,000 doses delivered to New Mexico, and we've administered 78,143 doses. State Health Secretary Designate Dr. Tracy Collins says nearly 400,000 New Mexicans registered for the vaccine online. As for the rollout, we know it's two phase and that phase one was broken down into 1A, 1B and 1C. Healthcare workers, long term care facilities and staff of congregate care facilities fall under phase 1A. Congregate facilities, they include homeless shelters, treatment centers and even prisons and jails. As for phase 1B, that's 75 and older, those with chronic conditions and vulnerable populations. Vulnerable populations include residents of these congregate care facilities, meaning inmates are part of the 1B group. That's ahead of phase 1C those 60 and older and other essential workers. Now I asked her how they justify putting inmates ahead of other people. I'm not prioritizing criminals above those who are 60 or older. What I'm looking at is from a public health lens that infectivity and rates of spread in these prisons can be very um, detrimental. And so we have an increased risk of cases and we have an increased risk of death among those who are in congregate settings. I also asked her about those who have already received their first dose and are due for their second, but haven't heard back about when or where to get it. If you're due for your second shock, your booster, you're on a, your priority for us. And as soon as those second doses, those booster doses are arriving, we're reaching out to you. So if we've not reached you, please be patient, we will. And we also learned about when each one of those phases will be rolled out to those groups. Now, phase 1A and 1B, at least part of 1B, that's happening right now. Phase 1C tentatively set for spring. Everyone else falls into phase 2, and that right now tentatively set for summer. Live in Albuquerque, Brandon Evans, KOET Action 7 News.